Nation. Sponsored by K-State Superstore and 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Tonight on K Nation, the Jayhawks have a national title to defend on the basketball court. We'll tell you which players are expected to step up amongst Bill Self's team. Plus, K State women's basketball will be without its best player for the entire season, but the Cats still have those high expectations. How a trio of young guards could surprise some people. And how about those Wildcats? A 48 point win is one of the most lopsided victories over a top 10 team you may ever see. We'll check in with Wildcat coaches and players. And that's actually where we're going to start tonight. Welcome to K Nation. I'm Lainey Gerber. And I'm Glenn Kinley. If you're joining us for the first time, thanks for watching. If you're joining us for the 10th time, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> K Nation's our 30 minute sports special. It runs every Sunday night focusing on K State and KU sports. We've got a good show tonight. Yeah, let's not to love. Well, let's get to that K State football mm -hmm. game. Just never an ounce of momentum for Oklahoma State yeah. the entire 60 minutes. As dominant of a performance as we've seen in the Chris, the Chris Kleiman era. Yeah, anyway. it was just one sided the whole way. Cats. Taking on the Cowboys. It's been almost a month since they had a home game. Check out the bananas in the crowd. Uh -huh. <laughs> Showing out in style. And another guy who really showed out, well, that's Will Howard. Opening drive for K-State. Howard drops a dime over the top to Cade Warner for six. We didn't know if Howard or Martinez would play. Howard starts and he looked pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Next possession, Howard balling. And you can't forget about 22, though. The deuce gets loose. 62-yard house call. Wildcats take a commanding 14-0 lead. That's in the first quarter. Second quarter now, Will Howard drops back, has time, fires deep. Phillip Brooks in the end zone, makes the contested grab. Howard's second touchdown pass. Cats get the ball back after an interception. Will Howard goes back to Cade Warner on the screen pass. Blockers do their job. That's two touchdowns for Warner in the first half. K-State driving right before half. Howard throws outside to Deuce Vaughn, who gets it. My goodness, what a half. There's the slow-mo for you. All five 30, and a half feet of him just stretching out. <laughs> all of it. 35 nothing. Deuce finishes with 176 total yards and two touchdowns. Malik Knowles, 113 yards. Will Howard, he had himself a game. 296 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. A lot, a lot, a lot of offense for the Wildcats. You see that look in, in everybody's eye, and, and, and everybody had that look today. It was like, you know, we're, we're not... We're not stopping until you know that clock says zero, and we're keeping the foot on the gas, and, and that's what we did. And it was a heck of a game. You know that was really cool. That was you know something I'm going to remember for a long time, and uh, you know something that you know I'll cherish for forever. Good guy, Will Howard. There carried <laughs> off the field by his teammates. This game wasn't all about the offense, though. The defense was arguably Man. maybe more impressive. <laughs> the Cowboys, I know, looking to gain some yards. Or Drake Cheatham punches the ball out, and Brendan Mott falls on top of it. Mom mentality, wildcat mm -hmm. ball. If the pass won't work, how about the run game? Well, OSU pitches on a jet sweep and immediately swarmed by Josh Hayes and company for a loss. Cowboys are trying to throw, but who else other than King oh. Felix and UDK <laughs> Uzama? Crown yourself, big guy. Wildcat defense only allows 217 yards, just 54 rushing, causes three turnovers. Woo, picks up three sacks, <laughs> and most importantly, leaves a, leaves a big old goose egg up on the scoreboard. Zero points allowed. It's actually tied for the fifth biggest shutout of a top 10 team in college football history. Wow, now that's impressive. Yeah. Just trusting our technique and what we're taught, you know. Uh, so, you know, Coach Glenderman preaches it all the time. Trust your technique, trust where your help is and stuff like that. So I, that was a, a big part of, you know, us playing good man today. I know the D-line is just as happy as we are because they get to pin their ears back and go get after it. So, and we know the ball is going in. There, so we love that, you know, being up. And if you beat a top 10 team, you got to storm the field. Yep. Students <laughs> join the team and celebrating on the field after the shutout. Have a day, Cats fans. Now ranked number 13 in the country. They get Texas at home next weekend. Yeah, we almost ran out of breath trying to say all those stats. That's how you know it was a good yeah, day. Yeah, there was more I could have rattled off too. <laughs> yeah, we run out of time in the show. <laughs> hey, here's an interesting turn though, Laney. That OSU team that just got stomped by the Wildcats. We're going to be back in Kansas this Saturday, Oklahoma State and yep. KU. Kick off at 2.30 this Saturday. Yeah, so you can see it two ways. On one hand, the Cowboys clearly aren't playing too well. Their mm -hmm. quarterback is probably hurt, so maybe the Jayhawks get them while they're in a rut. But it's also OSU is probably very motivated. Yeah. Sour taste in their mouth from that game for sure. Yeah, so they're going to be ready to good go. Good and bad, maybe. Now, the Hawks didn't play yesterday. They had the bye week. For now, every single game they do play is a huge one because KU okay, needs just that one win to make them bowl eligible. Now, Jayhawk, per Jayhawk fans perhaps getting a little nervous about if they'll get that one more win. They did start 5-0 and and then have lost three straight since. Here's the thing, though. Lance Leipo puts it best. The fact that Kansas football, the team, and the fans are expecting them to win, expecting them to get a bowl game, well, that just shows how far this program's come. Mm -hmm. 
We're pretty frustrated. Obviously, we fell behind by a lot, battled back, but we lost by 12, right? A year ago, we lost a 12 to Oklahoma, and everybody stood up and clapped. So this program's come a long way, and we're proud of that. And, and, and now when people are frustrated with 12-point losses, we're probably where we need to be. Now we've got to get it fixed. And that was right after the Baylor game last week, and it still holds true. It is crazy how in one year so much could change. Mm -hmm. Now the Cowboys did also stay in the AP Top 25. They're ranked 18th now. That game is on FS1, and we'll get you the opening odds later on in the show. Yeah, and I love that quote from Lance Leipold. Now we've got to go fix it. He says it's cool how far we've come, but now we've got to go fix it. There's no moral victory. He told us that before the season yeah, even started. Job's not finished. Mm -hmm. There's no bowl game security. Exactly. Yet. you got to get it. Now, Glenn, on this show, we typically talk about KU or K-State, but there's actually some news that is good for both universities and actually the entire conference. Yeah, because Jayhawk fans, Wildcat fans don't always agree. <laughs> I think some of you may know that, but they might both agree that this is good news for the Big 12 because it's a $2.28 billion, with a B, billion-dollar media rights deal with ESPN and Fox. The new contract will begin in 2025. It's an extension of the conference's current contract with Fox and ESPN. Yeah, and so here's how it's going to play out. $380 million a year expected to come the Big 12's way. It's an increase of $160 million from the current deal. It's a six-year media rights deal, and once the Big 12 settles into its 12 teams, mm -hmm. that's after OU and Texas leave and BYU, Cincinnati, Houston, and UCF join, this new deal is expected to rake in about $47 million for each school. That's about a $5 million raise per year per school as well. And I also read that it's pro rata, so if the Big 12 adds more schools, See that. The, the uh, deal changes as well. It's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I can't really <laughs> <laughs> have anything else to say. I can't comprehend that billion dollars. Million, so billion. Yeah. It's all the same. Uh, yeah, can get like five bucks. Hey, yeah. don't go anywhere. More K Nation on the way. In fact, Kansas volleyball played this afternoon. We'll get to those highlights and hear from head coach Ray Bashar. And and Kate, go ahead. women's basketball will be without a key player, but that doesn't mean they cannot accomplish big things. We'll check in with Wildcat coaches and players still ahead. But first, Kansas soccer. They had senior night last week. It was a special game for some special Jayhawks. We'll break it down from Lawrence. That's right after the break. Meaningful relationships built upon trust is a founding principle of the trust company. We help individuals and businesses create tailored financial plans and diversified investment strategies that adapt over time to your unique needs. Because we are independent, we can offer flexibility and creativity that many advisors and trust departments can't. If you aren't sure where to start or you're looking to make a fresh start, contact us today for a free consultation. Hi, this is Voice of the Wildcats, Wyatt Thompson. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you will be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. For 24-7 non-judgmental support, just call, text, or chat 988. As a Kansas farmer, I know a load of bull when I see it. Laura Kelly's not middle of the road. She's a Biden Democrat and she's driving Kansas into a ditch. Kelly vetoed 20 tax cuts, including the grocery tax cut. Laura Kelly is way too liberal. And that's why I'm with Derek Schmidt. Derek's endorsed by the Farm Bureau and he will stand up to Biden and put Kansans first. Derek Schmidt listens to us. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get 1,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. See your Heart of America Chevy dealer today. Kansas police have switched their endorsement. Last time they backed Laura Kelly, but this time they backed Derek Schmidt. State troopers are endorsing Derek Schmidt, too. Harris endorsed Derek Schmidt, even me, and I'm a Democrat. Law enforcement is united behind Schmidt because Laura Kelly has let us down. Laura Kelly's too soft on crime, and she doesn't support law enforcement. Kelly created a commission suggesting criminals be allowed to sue officers. That doesn't make any sense. We need a governor that's going to support law enforcement. That's not Laura Kelly. She's proven that.
Hey, welcome back to K Nation. No Kansas football this weekend, but the KU volleyball team was in town, so we had to make sure to show them some love. The Jayhawks come into today with a 15 and 6 record. That's pretty good. Ready to take on Oklahoma. Yeah, the Sooners, no team to mess with, though. Mm -hmm. They're coming off a five set loss to K State and played a tough game against a really good Baylor yeah, team. They're not bad either. Yeah, the Jayhawks are rocking in the pink uniforms for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Caroline Bien's throwing out a ball to the crowd right after this because. Why not? Yeah, Give them something to work for. I like for. those uniforms. Yeah, she's being a superstar, spiking home a point for KU. And the Jayhawks get a nice dig, sending it to wow. setter Cameron Turner, but not a set. She sends it over herself and is hype. Yeah, she's a Topeka native. Yeah, the two teams trading haymakers. OU wins set one, KU set two. OU set three, KU wins set four. So to set five we uh -oh. go, and that's Ines Cascabo with the back-to-back -back kills. Jayhawks have the Sooners on the ropes, up 14 to 13 in the fifth set, but Oklahoma scores three Man. straight and takes the match three to two. Here's what Coach Ray Bouchard said about the match. Really disappointing loss at TCU on Wednesday. Uh, we carried that a little bit longer than what we needed to, uh, and there was probably a little bit of a, a little bit of an emotional hangover from that. But we just had a conversation in the locker room. Holy cow, you can't. Teams that are on, upcoming on your schedule don't care how you feel or don't care about how your last result was. You got to be ready. A bounce back win obviously would be big for them, but they'll have to try and do it in none other than the Sunflower Showdown. Oh. K State and KU meet up this Wednesday. That game is in Lawrence. A big one because they both got pretty good teams this year. Yeah, that is, that'll be exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for it. Well, hey, let's take a look at some other scores from other sports. K State volleyball took set number one against number two ranked nationally, Texas, but the Longhorns came back and one in four sets. Impressive though to get one set because Texas is really dang good. Yeah, and K-State soccer fell to West Virginia on Thursday. They needed a win or a tie to get into the Big 12 tournament, but a loss from Baylor propels the Wildcats into the postseason for the first time in program history. Unfortunately, that run ended today with a 4 nothing loss to number 17, Texas. Just can't get around Texas right now. Yeah. It's a great season Can't stay in the Longhorns. But yeah, <laughs> K-State soccer, that's impressive. The program is so new, so to get in there, it's just a step in the right direction, and I'm sure big things to come. Oh, exactly, for sure. All right, well, K-State soccer, K K -State soccer got in the tournament with a little help from Baylor losing, and Kansas soccer... Actually got some help from K-State losing, if you can believe it. Oh, there we go. Well, last week we showed you the postseason scenarios for the Jayhawks to get into the tournament, and they found a way to win and, and get a loss from those Wildcats. K-Nation reporter Caroline Soro tells us how the team felt after clinching its spot. Kansas soccer is going to the Big 12 tournament for the first time since 2019. The Jayhawks punched their ticket with a win over Iowa State and some help from some other conference losses, but Thursday night was an all-around special night for the squad, ending the regular season in front of a home crowd at Rock Chalk Park on senior night. This game is really special. I think we knew that we had a lot on the line, so it was our senior night, and then we had to win this game in order to have a chance to go on. So I think we all knew that it was a very important game, and we wanted to just really play for each other. And It was a really special game getting to come and compete, leave it all on the field, and then get to come out on top. You know, you have a choice. You either step in and take the advantage of it, or, you know, you, you, uh, you crumble under the pressure and really proud of the, all the group uh, that stepped up to perform a, um, under a different circumstances that have been tough for the group. For them to have, to have one more game and an opportunity to continue to keep playing is, is massive, you know. So, you know, I'm really excited for the players, but especially for the seniors. Winter will be here before we know it, too. So these sports are wrapping up. But coming up after the break, we're going to talk about Kansas State women's basketball getting ready for those winter sports. Yeah, fun fact for you. Two of their best players are actually twins, and they have a pretty cool last name, Laney. It's Glenn. Oh. Uh, we'll check in with the Wildcats and others after the break. Car wrecks don't just happen from 9 to 5. If you're in a wreck, we're available 24-7. Don't wait until tomorrow to get the help you need now. In a wreck, need a check? Madison Legal is the way to go. Call 431 You spend the day watching your kids' big game. At least one of you is having fun. And Chop House Aeoli is calling your name. You want crispy onion strings and a brioche bun. Everything's better with melted cheese. Kevin's dad doesn't understand boundaries. 
Sonic Chop House Cheeseburger. Mmm, Sonic. David's Jewelers is open and happy to help you with finding the perfect engagement set, special gift, or needed repair. Our hours haven't changed, so stop by and visit us soon. Meet the Yes Man, Derek Schmidt, the biggest backer of this man, Sam Brownback. When Brownback said no to fully funding schools, Yes Man Schmidt agreed. When Brownback blew holes in the state budget, the Yes Man stood by his side. And when Brownback cut millions from law enforcement, Yes Man Schmidt still supported him. Now Sam Brownback's Yes Man wants to be governor. Tell him no thank you. They walk among us. They dance and sing. They even rule our plaza. And Monday, they'll do it again. Today is where your Halloween begins. Watch David George, weeknights on 27 News. Car wrecks don't just happen from 9 to 5. If you're in a wreck, we're available 24-7. Don't wait until tomorrow to get the help you need now. In a wreck, need a check? Patterson Legal is the way to go. Call 431 -0 -0 -0 -0. Well, K-State women's basketball has an exhibition game against Fort Hayes tomorrow, so it's safe to say basketball season is here. Yeah, officially, <laughs> officially here. The Wildcats will have a new look without Aoka Lee under the basket, but here's how the team's young players are stepping into some leadership roles. They've been through uh, virtually every type of experience, and they played significant minutes. Three of K-State's four freshmen from the past season are the team's leaders this year. They're not the same player they were a year ago. However, however, they've got habits that were developed that you've got to change over time. For example, these two to the right of me, they're going to have to rebound better than they've ever rebounded in their career. Serena Sundell, Briley, and Jalen Glenn will lead the Wildcats on the floor as sophomores. As a point guard, Sundell is ready for the challenge. I had a lot of leadership roles that I had to grow into and wasn't exactly comfortable with, but I think last year was all growth and having that experience that we got last year has really helped us. During their freshman year, they played South Carolina at South Carolina, played a handful of ranked Big 12 teams, and made an NCAA tournament run. We definitely grew a lot, like especially as a team, but this year it is different because Yoki is out, so I feel like we have more growing to do. For myself personally, I definitely feel like I've gotten more confident, and I'm definitely confident in this team. Aoka Lee's absence on the court is obvious, but Coach Mitty has figured out ways to make up for her average 22 points and 10 rebounds. The two sitting here have really taken upon themselves. Serena, obviously, with the ball in her hand, has a large responsibility of that, but Briley has been such a, it's been a joy to watch her voice grow. When we're going through a rough patch, I do want to be that voice that is there to encourage my teammates, lift us up, and get us back on the right path. Overall, here's how Mitty says his team has improved. I think we're shooting the ball better than we were last year. I think we're spreading the offense around better. Um, sometimes there are good days with that, sometimes not so good. You know, I think it's a work in progress right now, but we are further ahead at the offensive end than I expected to be. Just an exciting time for both teams' women's basketball. If you weren't watching our show last week, we did introduce you to the KU women's basketball team, too. So we hit both sides of that. They were both in the NCAA tournament last year. So yeah, really. and they both exited around the same time, and they both had similar records. Well, those so. Sunflower Showdowns could be fun. I know. And looking back on the team to do this story, I realized just how many amazing teams K-State beat last year. Yeah, they, they so had a lot of big gonna wins. Good. Yeah, yeah, a lot of ranked teams on their schedule. And we'll keep and you more updated this throughout their seasons. Yeah. Well, coming up after the break on K-Nation, KU met Men's basketball checks in at number five on the preseason AP poll. There's a lot of pressure near coming off a national title. Oh yeah, that's a, a big deal for sure. And it's a new team. So some incoming freshmen, some incoming transfers, a few returners. Even those guys though will have new rules. We're talking KU hoops after a quick timeout. At the Mattress Hub, we believe that healthy sleep has the power to change the way you live. Find huge savings on the best brands in sleep. Change the way you sleep with Tempur-Pedic and Purple Mattress with instant savings and no interest financing up to 60 months. Only at the Mattress Hub. Staging is an important part of selling your home. We'll help you do both. We are your dream home professionals with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, Wastel Realty. Call us today. Prairie Glass Studio. Glass artists creating amazing fused glass, gifts, home decor, and jewelry. 
Visit us online or stop by soon at 10th and Topeka Boulevard. Kansas police have switched their endorsement. Last time they backed Laura Kelly, but this time they backed Derek Schmidt. State troopers are endorsing Derek Schmidt, too. Harris endorsed Derek Schmidt, even me, and I'm a Democrat. Law enforcement is united behind Schmidt because Laura Kelly has let us down. Laura Kelly's too soft on crime, and she doesn't support law enforcement. Kelly created a commission suggesting criminals be allowed to sue officers. That doesn't make any sense. We need a governor that's going to support law enforcement. That's not Laura Kelly. She's proven that. The school day doesn't stop for the flu. I stay ahead of the class and on top of my health by getting the influenza vaccine every fall. I want my daughter to have a healthy start. So I'm taking my doctor's advice and getting the whooping cough vaccine. The right immunizations during pregnancy can safeguard both of us. Your primary care provider is your trusted source for all your health care needs, including vaccines. Learn more at BeImmuneKansas.org. It seems like places are giving you less and less food these days. Man, yes, mama, it's called shrinkflation. Oh, shrinkflation, that's just another word for robbery. But this is shackflation. What? Dang, that's huge. Extra pepperoni, extra tea on that thing. The 27 News Storm Tracker is sponsored by Wilson Tire. Welcome back to K Nation. Well, KU basketball held its media day this week, and we got to find out what we should expect from the reigning national champions. Yeah, apparently we should expect some fireworks because these guys seem like they're ready to roll, Laney. Yeah. And just about everyone in that gym was confident they can chase championships, even though guys like Ochai Baji, Christian Brown, David McCormick, those guys have all moved on. So it's going to be a big year with some new faces. Yeah, but the Jayhawks aren't just rolling out the same team as last year, like you said. No, Baji, Brown, you know, Remy Martin, David McCormick, just a few guys. And all those guys were older players. Now Bill Self has to work out a talented but unexperienced group of freshmen. Expected to get major minutes, though. K.J. Adams says that this has changed the team and how everything's been practicing. I think it's a little different just because he has to teach a little more because we have so many, so many freshmen that are very high caliber athletes. So he, co he coaches a little different, but it's always going to be the same coach Self that coaches us really hard. Since we have a, a lot of like McDonald's All American freshmen, just teaching them how to play and how to play it hard. You may think that a program with such a rich history of winning would capitalize on recruits that are good scorers, great defenders, flamethrower shooters, athletes that can jump out of the gym. But actually, it was repeated from multiple players at Media Day that Coach Bill Self just finds guys with great personalities that can mold their team together. And that's why you see that fantastic chemistry on the court. And it certainly pays off because of that. They can joke around, have a little fun, and all that. Everybody on our team's goofy. We're after the after the practice, we stay like just 20 minutes, just talking to each other, just cracking jokes. Um, I think that's going to play a big role. Coach Coach always talks about the biggest personality always always prevails and wins during big games. So I think just getting out of our comfort zone, just taking in all these fans that come up to watch us, and I think that just gives you a big boost every day. Well, maybe the face of KU basketball for the past six <laughs> years was this man right here, Mitch Lightfoot. Yeah. After six years at KU and the Jayhawk record for most games played, <laughs> he was forced to call it quits. The NCAA just won't let him Come play on. anymore. Crazy. <laughs> Glenn asked Coach Self if it's weird not having the center in the locker room anymore, and this is what he responded with. Oh, I actually thought it was weirder having him here. <laughs> uh, 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 but, uh, you know, we, we love Mitch, and we miss him. And, and uh, uh, and we will miss him more, but he had the perfect role for our team last year was Mitch. Mitch understood that, so he, he was more valuable to us than what his numbers ever showed. I never knew we'd probably miss him as much as we, we are right now. Mitch Lightfoot, I think he's probably still hanging around in Lawrence as far as I know. <laughs> Joe's get number one of the year with an exhibition match on Thursday. That's against Pittsburgh State. Mm -hmm, but it's not their first competition. They did have those secret scrimmages. The secret scrimmage with Illinois. Yeah. People asked Bill Self about it. He said, it's a secret. It's a secret. So. Well, it wasn't a total secret because they were telling people about it at Big 12 Media Day. Yeah. But just we're just not allowed to ask about it. Yeah. Don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, KU sports are doing well this year all mm -hmm. around. There's basketball, football, swimming. Even the alumni are doing really mm -hmm. well. Yeah, there's one alumni doing extremely well right now. He's probably in a good mood. That's former baseball player Rob Thompson, now the manager for the Philadelphia Phillies. If you keep up with baseball, you know that they're playing in the World Series right now. Yeah. Thompson holds the Kansas record for the highest single season batting average and he led the team in hits in 1984 and 85 
After a shortened career due to knee injuries, he transitioned to coaching, and it turned out pretty well. Now with the Phillies, him and his team are competing for a championship. For Rob to do it the way he's done it in professional baseball for as long as he's done it. I mean, he has been, he has grinded his way through professional baseball for a really, really long time. And um, he really, he really epitomizes what a Jayhawk is, a, a big time blue collar grinder. Uh, and to play for the ultimate prize in baseball in the World Series is pretty special. So we got a bunch of Phillies fans out here now pulling for Rob and his crew. Yeah, Thompson's Phillies are tied with the Astros with one win apiece in the best of seven series. That is the World Series. Mm -hmm. Games head to Philly now for three games. Game three starting tomorrow at seven. So best of luck to him and the mm -hmm. Phillies. Lainey, I think I can speak for both of us when I say we're, we're not just pulling for Coach Thompson, but we're also pulling for the Phillies and neither of us are really big Astros fans. No, yeah, <laughs> <That's> definitely. <laughs> well, the Astros, you know, oh great. They, Landon wrote this in the script. Now I have to say it. <laughs> Come on, you can tell them. The, yeah, well, we all know what the Astros did to the Dodgers a few years back, so I'm just, I guess you can scroll past Go that Phillies, part. go Phillies. Yeah. Hey, after the break, we wrap up the show. We'll talk a little sports betting for next week, so don't go anywhere. More K Nation on the way. She always works with both parties. Laura Kelly. When she worked with President Trump to keep our meatpacking industry open, Trump said Kelly did a fantastic job. Independent. Bipartisan. That's how Governor Kelly delivers for Kansas. Vanderbilt's is your Carhartt headquarters. Stop by and see our newly expanded selection of Carhartt gear. Stay warm with Carhartt's quilt lined hooded duck jacket. You'll love how easy you can get in and out of these zip to the hip Carhartt insulated duck bibs. Perfect for layering. Check out Carhartt's midweight logo sweatshirt or Carhartt's heavyweight t shirt. Great selection of best selling Carhartt knit or thin sulate lined caps. What boots and a Vanderbilt? My family's been in Kansas for six generations. They taught me that family, faith, and country are everything. So I joined the Navy and served on board the USS Ronald Reagan to keep us safe at home. Now, I'm running for Congress because we need leaders who will actually put us first. And unlike Jake LaTurner, I'll invest more in policing, not less. I'll work with both parties to protect our families. It's what Kansas deserves. I'm Patrick Schmidt, and I approve this message. Topeka, come enjoy our downtown. Live, work, play. Special thanks to our downtown activation sponsors. I was a police chief for nearly 20 years, so let me set the record straight. Laura Kelly supports law enforcement. She fully funded our police in Kansas, even increased it by a record $80 million to fight crime and keep communities safe. <laughs> well, K-State, they definitely covered that spread, a one-point favorite against Oklahoma State. Uh, they beat it by about 47 points, winning 48 to nothing. If you bet on Kansas, then you might want to check your betting sites because they didn't, didn't play. Yeah, if you bet on Kansas, uh, you're not very good at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got duped by somebody. Yeah, well, as far as this weekend goes, K-State's getting disrespected, maybe. Ranked 13th in the country playing at home, but Vegas has them as underdogs wow. with Texas coming to town. A and the surprising. Jayhawks get a, yeah, the Jayhawks get a little better odds after Oklahoma State got that beat down. They're just three and a half point underdogs against the Cowboys at home on Saturday. All right. Well, it should be an exciting week, and we don't have the Chiefs this weekend either, so we really, without KU and the Chiefs, we've had a little shortage of football. We'll get back to full throttle next weekend. Yeah, but it's not, you know, K-State got the memo, and they really amped it up for us to give us a lot to talk about. They did. We weren't short on playing. highlights, that's for sure, because of K-State exclusively, but next weekend we get KU back in action. We get the Chiefs back in action. More football than basketball. and We'll have basketball We're going to be keeping about. busy, Lainey. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Kane Nation. make plans to join us again next Sunday and every Sunday from now on after our 10 p.m. newscast. Yeah, have a great night. We'll see you next week. This is as good a win collectively uh, as, as I've been a part of. We lost by 12, right? A year ago, we lost a 12 to Oklahoma, and everybody stood up and clapped. So this program's come a long way, and we're proud of that. Can't uh, be more proud of Will Howard. 